What is up YouTube and welcome back to another episode of Factory Town and I apologise in advance that for some reason I've managed to mute the game sound once again and I say me, it is me because obviously I am the uh, creator right but the software I use every time it gets an update decides to reset all of the settings to ones that no one would ever need i.e. the lowest quality and no sound odd anyway I am currently trying to set up a brief start to fertilizing these fields we saw this in the last episode where it's doing a serious amount of foods for the community obviously raw foods mostly um, and one of them being the farm for the cows where they make the milk uh, you obviously can't see that there is a liquid pipe underneath there is also making manure so I thought well fertilizer as it's called um, so I thought, why not just pull that out and feed it to the farms? It might not be enough to do them all, which is fine. But it should increase productivity across the board anyway. At the minute, you can see that's actually animal feed because I've got it set on the wrong thing, but don't worry about that. Um, it then obviously fertilizes some of the fields. If it fertilizes some of them, it's better than nothing. If it fertilizes all of them, bonus. But what I don't want is for it to just sit there doing nothing. It was going on that belt, as you can see. So I'm going to clean it off there because that belt is only going to the food store. Um, so there will be no... It will just it will just clog up the line. So both of these, both created milk. No, one is creating beef with fertilizer. The other one is creating milk with fertilizer. So clear off the animal feed that got onto the line and just let the fertilizer come through here it comes you should start to see those tiles darken up showing that the fields are being fertilized that should increase efficiency which should increase food output and all in all we should be better off i also noticed i had an additional one as well look um for the two stakes so i've just put a belt up and over to allow that fertilizer to come as well so we've got fertilizer coming out of three of them all basically going straight round and hopefully making them all more efficient. Now, I'm not sure if I need to use all of the fields that I've set up, by the way. Like I said, there is another set behind this lot and then another one behind that. For now, though, I'm just working on this front row and it's giving me what I need. Uh, just need to get water into them now in the most efficient way possible for the ones that require it the animals that is uh, The farms should have water pumped into them as well. I don't know why I've not I might do a bit later. I hope I do um, As a curiosity question from me to you when you play this do you give all of the resources to all the people is that the aim or do you do a maximum i believe like for hardware for example the cap is you only need to give them three items so if you're giving them three giving them an additional one achieves nothing in terms of happiness because three is um the, the the only amount they need now if you give them three of higher happiness results that would work i would guess so if you have th three each one giving three happiness for nine happiness but then you can upgrade one to give them ten happiness it all adds up. Um, but if you're giving them more than what they need, I assume it's inefficient. Let me know in the comments. And yes, I did indeed do the fields as well. If I do this setup again backwards, it will be similar, just with the belts going around this current setup and onto the belt. It depends on how much we need. Chicken-wise, we've got the eggs, we've got the raw chicken, and we've got the cooked chicken already done. I'm not cooking the beef at any point that I'm aware of. And of course, doing that will give, well higher benefit than the raw beef but as i'm saying i don't know where to stop you can go over the top like i would in most games specifically games like minecraft where i just build stuff for the sake of it but for this one it's uh, the whole point of the game the purpose of the game right is to manage the resources so if they're not going to be used or appreciated why would you you can see actually that the fertilizer is yeah easily covering all of the farms that is going to back up i don't think that will slow down the production though so we should be okay over here you can see pickaxes now we've got loads so i'm making everything else uh, 
stone, polished stone going in there as well. So there alone, there is three items going into that general store. So does that mean I've done? Because the maximum I believe that they need is three items. I set up now to make some actual rails and some wheels to finish off the tier five research. You can see on the side, we are at nine out of 10 on the happiness. I'm not sure if that goes above 10, I believe it doesn't. I know the research goes to 10 and you can see that down in the bottom. That's one of the end game things, four out of 10. And we are 20 wheels and 40 rails off level five there, which we are currently, I'm hoping, figuring out. That is now 23, you can see the wheels are indeed climbing up. So there's progress for that. Trains, will I use them? Good question. It depends on what we bump into and how we do it. If anybody wants to specifically see trains or how I would do them, let me know and I'll, I'll, I will attempt that to show you. Um, but for me, it depends on what I'm doing and where it is and what the topology of the map is like in order to establish what I actually want to uh, do and how I want to achieve it. It is a bit cheesy though because the topology is... Well, generally flat because I'm flattening everything before I build anything, but there will be I'm not gonna be able to flat flatten the entire planet or the entire world map, whatever you want to call it. And coming back, we can now upgrade the happiness. There we go. Now level nine done on that. And the rails are climbing up, so very shortly we should be able to jump that next step up to research level five. This means, of course, the happiness level increasing. We are now allowed more houses, 66. And we have 59, so I'm just trying to figure out where they are going to go. Now, what I have established is the circle on the buildings isn't fixed. It isn't a fixed thing. As long as you have roads connecting, you are okay. So I'm just going to push this uh, overspill of cotton back and extend the roads. They are a bit wonky. I oh no, that's three. Yeah, the, the three gaps apart from that last row there on the light that I'm putting them in now, that's six. So I don't know why I did that. Uh, the houses are facing opposite directions on purpose. So they're not all facing the same direction on purpose because I think it looks more, uh, I don't know. It just look, looks nicer if they're not like copy and paste it into exactly the same positions although i am keeping them very very clustered which isn't very english um as far as i'm aware it's more american where they have blocks of houses like that uh, english roads usually are in lines and never really very straight don't know why but you can see there the research actually has finished that is lit up i just need to click that button to go from level four to level five which will undoubtedly allow us to do some more research types as well. Just zoomed out a little bit there for an overview. I'm reasonably happy with where we're at at the minute. Any efficiency losses or issues, anything you see that's clearly a problem, let me know in the comments. My bridge is still there that I can use to copy and paste, or copy and paste, as I say, where I need to. It's very common to do a bridge like that. Um, I haven't done any fancier ones yet, so don't see the need to to do anything else that I need to copy and paste. I'm just checking that everything's connected, that the general store is getting 66 houses, that the town centre's touching 66 houses, etc. Uh, to upgrade the town centre to level 7, we need 2,000 blue coins, currently at 980. That comes from medicines uh, that we did have but I think I ripped it up to get in some more farms. I will look at that next though. So Medicine Hut, here we come. So with it placed, I'm gonna try and aim to give it as much as possible, both getting the Remedy, which is the high-end one. We have the Medicinant Plants already. Fish oil is not too difficult. We can already build the fishing pier or the fishing port, whatever it's called. Uh, and we have plenty of room around here that we're looking at now to chuck in extra farms should we need more resources. You can see there, there is a lot of uh, juices, fruit juices coming out. I'm loving that at the minute. Um, this, of course, is... What is that? Yeah, I don't know. I'm just trying to flow it around the farms here. 
I kind of find myself building things uh, and then the next episode I'm ripping it up to replace it with something else. Hopefully it's not coming across like that. I am trying to manage things realistically, which is why it's all somewhat spread out because the gaps in between are for other things that may be needed in the future. At the minute, I am bringing round some fertilizer. Obviously, we have a lot of fertilizer being produced this area, and I'm going to try and get that into that cotton. Really making a mess of doing it, though. But trying to get some cotton in there in order to increase the cotton efficiency. I was going to say here it comes, but no, it can't go uphill physics and to make sure that efficiency increase is very very relevant for moving forward I've just thrown in another um, another farm another cotton farm whether I can get the I should be able to get the yeah I can get the fertilizer that as well when it's ready to go but I need to do the, the farm towers as well so there's that to do this road hopefully uh, or the, the area where that road was is going to be my sort of medicinal road uh, where I'm hopefully trying to bring everything together, whether it be the crops, the bandages, the medic medicament plants, or the fish and into fish oil. And I've said before, I can show it here, if the shoot is not quick enough, build another shoot. It seems that with the farms, especially the grain farms, actually three shoots the grain farm can fill at full efficiency of level 10 yellow coins with five workers and you can see that here that gets twice as much of the volume into the food factories and therefore hopefully twice as much of the resources out uh, it does of course take up more of the field you can raise it up three blocks but i don't think you can grow underneath it i'm sure there's better options and when we get end game uh, belts they'll be much quicker uh, but for now, it certainly seems that outputting up to three lines of shoots works best. So, yeah, another workshop to turn cotton into cloth. Cloth then turns into bandages. Bandages with medicinal plants turn into pulses. Poultices. I'm not sure if that's the plural, right, or not. And then obviously all that's left then is remedy, which requires fish oil as well, and a bit of heat. And continuing to double up the outputs of the grain through additional pipes. All of these are going into our main food, our beginning food. So that was the chicken cheesy sandwiches that we had. Uh, of course, we need a lot of bread, a lot of cut chicken, a lot of cheese. But to produce it and have spares so we can sell off the raw resources as well, like just bread, uh, I want to make sure that they're getting enough of that. The cheese sandwiches do take quite a bit of work, and the tip that said to use multiple kitchens is definitely the way to go. Um, but whether I need probably two kitchens or not is yet to be seen. Flour now coming out of there is much faster, but I like to see the shoots full. Similar to what the grain shoots are, but of course you need two grain per flower so of course however much grain you put in is going to half the output so maybe if i put three in theory if i put three lines into each of those food factories they will fill the bars but you can see we're getting bread coming off going two ways one is going to make sandwiches one is going to uh, directly to the food shop. Now, the bread itself is delayed, as is the cheese a bit. Chicken seems okay. You can see the chicken is actually backed up there. So chicken we're okay with. Cheese needs improving, and we still need more flour. I finally noticed that I could click the button. So, yeah. Uh, we've been waiting for level 5 research for a while. But I finally noticed it's glowing, so let's click it. And with that, we get new additional research so we can learn. And now we need to make 50 antidotes and 50 metal belts, which are already complete. Antidotes are in the process of what we're actually working on now. So that was a happy accident. It wasn't planned. I'm not going to pretend it was. Um, but at least we know now what we need to do next. I am splitting the belts here because the two... 
the two cotton plants together going onto one belt was not working. There was too much volume. So you can see now that second one is still going round, which will go all the way around to where the books are made and the cloth is used to make the, the books. Uh, this cotton then can go directly into the workshop that is specifically for the medicine side. So each of the processes, both research and medicine, have their own, that was on the wonk, have their own source of cotton and therefore cloth. It's getting a bit messy at the minute. I need to try and get, I've got two lots of medicinal plants coming down now, as you can see. Uh, they're being siphoned off to the research and to the med medicine factory, so to speak. Um, and I'm just making sure that there's enough volume getting into both. I want to make sure that the research is going up. Four and a half K natural research, so that's not a problem. The research that requires iron ingots and a book is lacking. You can see that the orange cog there on the top left. Only 38. Clearly, I've not got that set up. But the natu nature research, which is medicinal plant and a book. Uh, I am throwing that out, which is why it's at four and a half thousand. With twelve and a half thousand standard research, which is just paper going into uh, into a school. And that is a lot of belts, but that is also a lot of food. So you can see we have all of the medicinal sides going in there, the poultices, the remedies. Uh, we haven't got the antidote yet. We haven't got there, but we do have the other stuff going into the apothecary to be sold off. Um, which is why we've got 2k now on the blue and climbing nicely. We have plenty of food going in, which is why our money is just glowing up also as quick. 91,000 red coins. So as an overall view, both gold, red and blue coins now have a permanent income that is reasonably substantial. Of course, it depends on how expensive things get in the future. I need to move this line as well because I moved the shop that sells them. I had to move them around to make it so the belts would fit. It was getting a bit crazy. There we go. That is a lot of milk. Pear juice, apple juice, berry juice. All the juice and milk. I haven't made butter yet though. I'll have a look see what that's actually used for if it's got an other alternate use. And as you can see, three metal belts coming directly out of this me medicine farm are shock to the brim. So efficiency-wise, you can see that that is a lot of fuel. Now, two of those belts go into the medicinal hut to make the remedy and the poultices. One continues on to go to make the natural research or the tree icon research. Those farms there, I'm not convinced I'm going to need, which is why I've deleted them for now. They were using one person each. Not that that really matters. We've still got plenty of spare. 483 out of 690. Uh, happiness is pushing just over 900. 1050 to get that to level 10. Still looking for antidotes. Level 5 with the Omni building uh, ways away off yet. I think we're starting to get to the point now where we get to the mana stuff. And the temples for the uh, earth crystals, the water crystals, etc. The next thing we do need, though, is the fish to get the fish oil. There's some uh, quartz there as well. So this, the, the amount of fish that's around here is insane. Um, so I've chucked down the fishing pier. And I need to get that resource then to where I want to use it. I was going to use... a belt but it's quite a long way to go so i thought i'd use some of these other items now i have played this game before but it was a while ago and there is a lot of new things included one of which is the cargo ship or actually any boats i don't believe existed when i played it last may have there may have been rafts i'm not sure but what i want to do is take the cargo ship from there pick up any of the fish drop it off at that barn the barn then can belt out into the uh, whatever it is that turns it into fish oil. I can't remember what the machine is that I need, or the building, sorry, that I need to build. It might be the medicine thing directly, but either way, that will get 
the fish too short. And I think I need two cargo ships in total. They hold 40 each. And they're not terribly fast, but they're, they're, they, they definitely could be slower. So, And then to make sure that we've got everything we need to make the antidote, I am growing the crops directly here. Right to the side of the port that the cargo ships you can see there are bringing those fish in. That will then get turned into the oil mixed in to that medicinal building that's right there next to that red temple. That will then get sent over into the city. Doing it outside of the city just to make things easier for everyone. Um, and then one belt going into the main civilization instead of loads of them just to keep everything running. As it stands there we are at time so I'm going to end episode here and you will have to watch the next episode to see how that comes along with the antidote thank you very much for watching if you like the video please click like any comments are welcome subscribe so you don't miss anything thank you take care goodbye